Our Buffalo Bills brass has done a phenomenal job improving our roster from top to bottom. But until we hoist that Lombardi trophy, we will always have holes to fill. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Take 5. I'm your host, A. Rich, Akeem Richens. And if you don't know me by now, please take some time out and get to know me. Better yet, get to know the brand. This is another Built in Buffalo segment. Now, the media outlets are starting to respect the process of our Buffalo Bills to the point where we're starting to hear media outlets spewing to the fans that the Buffalo Bills do not have any glaring needs heading into the 2020 NFL Draft. The Buffalo Bills do not have any pressing needs. The Buffalo Bills do not have any glaring holes. And while I love my team to death, I've been a fan for over 30 years. Do not fall for that narrative. Until we host an NFL game in our backyard, we will always have holes to fill. Until we get to that AFC title game, we will always have holes to fill. Until we hoist that Lombardi trophy, our Buffalo Bills will always have holes to fill. So let's not get into the narrative that the Buffalo Bills do not have any pressing needs. Because when you look at the power rankings, <laughs> the Buffalo Bills are in the top 10 at like 9. But there's 8 other teams better than the Buffalo Bills in those power rankings. So we definitely can improve our roster and our three biggest needs in my opinion goes as follows a lot of people will say defensive end first and while i do feel it's one of our three biggest needs i do feel the biggest need for our buffalo bills heading into the nfl draft is the cornerback position let me be more specific the boundary cornerback position right because we got a nickel coach now we broke it up into sections <laughs> so the boundary cornerback position is our biggest need right now and in my opinion it's our biggest need because it presents an immediate and future impact let's call a spade a spade here we don't know what we're going to get out of josh norman we know brandon bean said the washington redskins didn't play him in the right system but we don't know if Josh Norman is going to be the same Josh Norman from 2015 when he was with the Carolina Panthers. We don't know if Josh Norman is going to be half of that Josh Norman from 2015 for the Carolina Panthers. So because we don't know those things, we have to get another cornerback that can come in and play right away. EJ Gaines did solid in 2017. We went eight and three under his uh, when he started games for us. But EJ Gaines is a gimp. He cannot stay healthy, and we cannot depend on Gaines for a roster spot, let alone a starting spot. So we definitely can use a corner to come in and compete right away. What if Levi Wallace struggles again? What if Levi Wallace struggles like he did in Miami? What if Levi Wallace struggled like he did on the last play with the Cleveland Browns when we lost the game? We have to have another guy that can come in and can contribute right away. And not let's not ignore the future impact. Josh Norman is on a one-year deal. Levi Wallace is essentially on a one-year deal. EJ Gaines is on a one-year deal. Let's stop having this roller coaster with the number two cornerback position and get a guy that can come in and play right away and can continue to develop for the next four years under Sean McDermott's tutelage. So that is why cornerback is our number one pressing need, in my opinion. Number two, running back. Sean McDermott says himself, he believes the NFL, he believes teams should implement or his team should have a two running back system. We have a very good running back in Devin Motor Singletary, 151 attempts, 775 yards, two touchdowns, 5.1 yards per carry. He has great vision and elusiveness. Now he needs a counterpart. Now he needs a guy that can complement him. 
we need to either get uh, a running back that can run between the tackles, or we need to get a running back with enough speed that's a threat to score every time he touches the ball. And if we can get either or to complement with Devin Singletary, that will make our offense more dynamic, making Josh Allen, our franchise quarterback, job a lot more easy. And that's what we want. We want to make our quarterback's job, Josh Allen, as easy as possible. And if we can get another dynamic playmaker in the backfield to go along with Devin Singletary, I think that would be a job well done. Running back is our second major need. It is uh, immediate impact because we need a contributor right away. And we need a future guy, a guy that can be a running mate with Devin Singletary for the next couple seasons. So running back is our second pressing need. Our third need for our Buffalo Bills is defensive end. And I know a lot of talent evaluators and experts will have defensive end as the, the major need, the number one major need for our Buffalo Bills. But we have our starters already. Um, uh, Mario Addison, Jerry Hughes are entrenched in their starting positions and they are under contract for multiple seasons. I know they are older, but they are still performing well and they are both under contract. Trent Murphy, <clears throat> excuse me, is a nice rotational piece. Daryl Johnson is a guy that we drafted in the seventh round that we hope we can continue to develop. So we have some things going on at the defensive end position, but we can always get a guy with a high ceiling. Mario Addison, Jerry Hughes, they're not getting any younger. We're going to expect a fall off at some point. We hope it's going to be later rather than sooner, but we need to get a guy that can come in here with a, a high ceiling that can come in, learn, know the scheme, has a high IQ, and can develop and watch how the professionals do it first, and then in a year or two can come in and take over in the starting position and cause havoc and make Brandon Dean and Sean McDermott look like geniuses once again. Defensive end is our third pressing need for our Buffalo Bills. So let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button. In that comment section, do you agree or disagree? Cornerback, running back, defensive end, in that order are our three major needs heading into the NFL 2020 draft. This is your boy, A. Rich, Akeem Richens. This is another Built-in Buffalo production. Until next time.